Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to cover an overview of how to find the area of polygons. So let's get started. So on your formula sheet, there are several different polygons and the formula for the area of each of those. And I'm going to cover them right now in this video real quick. We're going to start with a square. The area of a square is the side times the side, or side squared. And because it's a square, all the sides are the same length. In this case, you have a side length of three centimeters. So to find the area, you have area equals three squared or nine. And because we're gonna use the right units, we're gonna use centimeters squared. So there's one down, let's go to the next one. Area of a rectangle, very close to area of a square, except you're gonna do length times width. The length and width are different, unlike a square where the length and width are technically the same size. So to find the area of this rectangle, we are going to do area equals the length, which we're going to call 5, times the width, which we'll call 3, which is, ooh, not 3, let's use 2 because that's what's given to us. 5 times 2 is 10 inches squared. All right, that's number 2. Let's go to the next one. A parallelogram. A parallelogram is basically a slanted rectangle. So the area formula is pretty much the same. It's base times height. So I've given you a base of four feet here and a height of three feet. So four times three is gonna get us 12 feet squared. And that is the area of the parallelogram. All right, let's keep going to the next shape. A triangle. So a triangle is, um, you know, an example is one you see here. The formula for the area is one half base times height. So it's kind of similar to a rectangle and a parallelogram, just kind of cut in half. So for this one, we have the area equals one half times, let's see, the base is going to be seven and the height is going to be nine. All right. So one half times seven times nine. Well, seven times nine is 63. You cut 63 in half, you were going to get 31.5. And we're gonna keep our units the same, which is centimeters squared. And again, if you are unsure on, if you're uh, doing this in your head, make sure you use your calculator. It's available to you on your screen. Definitely take advantage of that. All right, let's keep going. A trapezoid. So this is a unique shape and the formula is a little bit different than all the others. Um, a little bit more involved, but uh, we'll break it down for you. So the area of a trapezoid is going to be one half times the height, which is going to be in this case five inches, times the sum of the two bases. So the bases are different widths um, or lengths, however you want to say that. Um, you have to add them up and put that in your formula. So base one is going to be, let's say, three and base two is the bottom, let's say six. So the area in this case is one half, five times nine, which is, the five times nine is 45, and half of 45 is 22 and a half. And these are inches squared. All right, let's continue to move forward. I think we have one more, a circle. So the circle is really the only one that we have in our areas that uses pi. And usually what you'll see in your directions is when you have pi, they'll say use 3.14 for pi. So we're gonna do that today. Area in this case is 3.14, which is pi or an approximation of it, times the radius, which is in this case four squared. So remember the radius is always the distance across halfway across your circle at the center. So area is going to be 3.14 times 16. So I'm going to use the calculator for this because I am not sure what that is to be honest and my calculator is going to be right here. So let me move that out of the way. 3.14 times 16 is 50.24. And we have yards in this case, squared. 
So that's the last of our shapes. I hope this helps when you get to uh, questions that ask you to find an area of polygons. Remember, all these formulas are on your formula sheet, so definitely use that and reference it. And if you need to, use your calculator. Thanks for watching. Hey, one more thing for all the math talkers out there. You see the red button down there? It's a subscribe button. Click it. Tell all your friends right down there. Subscribe. Spread the word.